this is Laura and I'm coming at you again with another video about my current protective style um, yeah so I'm gonna make this really quick because I am on my way to my aunt's 50th birthday dinner and I'm dead wrong for doing this video two weeks late because I did this style two weeks ago uh, things have been hectic I'm in the process of moving again Hopefully this will be it for a while. So I decided to do a vid while I'm on my way out. So um, this is gonna be really quick. Um, it's about my current protective style and by far my most favorite protective style to date. Um, I have been wanting to try this for a while now. Um, as you can see, these are Havana twists. As you probably cannot see, these are crochet braids and they are so also are yarn twists. These are jumbo yarn twists. Yes, ladies, I did another set of crochet braids because you know I am on the crochet braid bandwagon. It has been so good to me and I have been wanting to try yarn braids for a while. Um, but I did have a bad experience with yarn um, when I did it about a little bit over a year ago. Um, just left my hair really, really dry. So I have definitely been upping the moisture this time around. So just to get right into it, here they are and I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see these are my crochet jumbo yarn twists that I absolutely adore and let me tell y'all I lied to you not okay this protective style I know I say this all the time but this time let me tell you, I can't go anywhere without a woman stopping me in the street about my hair. The mall, Walmart, gas stations, work, walking to, into the store, anywhere I go, supermarket, constantly women are like, oh my God, your hair, like who did your hair? I'm like, I did it. They're like, can you do mine? I'm like, mm, I don't know, because it took me a while to actually um, <laughs> do this style. So. This style did take a little while. Um, the installation really wasn't that hard, and I'm gonna show you how I install it because I did not install it as I um, have my other crochet. Okay, so um, this was, it, it did take me a while, and um, it took me a while to actually um, do the installation, and the reason why is. Uh, Cutting the hair took a while, so um, definitely next time I am going to prep it a step, you know, do it earlier. Um, so yes, like I cannot go anywhere. Women have been asking me, you know, who did your hair? Um, and it's not only black women, it is white women. I went to the nail salon, um, the lady that does my manicures, oh my God, your hair is gorgeous. Like all races, even men, like they love this style. I really, really love it. And ladies, it is not, heavy so if you're wondering is it heavy no it is not of course the first day um, it's going to feel heavy because it is um, a lot of hair um, added weight to your hair but the next day not heavy at all very lightweight um, I wouldn't try bunning it I haven't I only bun it when I'm taking a shower to put it up and then it is heavy so I definitely am not going to be doing the full thing in a bun so just going to show you ladies really quick um, this is how the part look and again it's been two weeks and look how much new growth I already have okay and yeah so these are my jumbo yarn twists and people don't know what's yarn until I say it is but I think the reason why there's like a lot of compliments especially from um, sisters is because it looks like hair you know it um, doesn't really look like yarn and so you say it's actually yarn so that is the beauty of it and um, one thing I'm going to do this time around um, is I'm upping the moisture because yarn can be drying and it's the winter time this is a great winter protective style because it's like a big old sweater on your head it keeps my head warm neck warm shoulders warm whatever so I'm um, gonna do a quick 360 for you guys hopefully um, you can see I'm on my knees here, but uh, hopefully you can get a good shot, but I'll definitely take some pictures. This is how it looks. And y'all, this is the length of it. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to stand up so you can see. Um, there. 
this is where it reaches. So pretty much down to my back, um, almost waist length. That's the length of it, which that's how I wanted it. So I cut the yarn. Um, half of it is about 28 inches. So, you know, times two is the full strand. Um, I used three packs of Red Heart acrylic yarn um, that I got from Michaels, which you can get anywhere. Um, definitely recommend acrylic. And um, I used eight strands per twist. Um, also on the tips, I put rubber bands which are um, very unnoticeable. The rubber bands, you cannot tell they're rubber bands at all. So they are noticeable and I'm gonna do a quick mini toot on um, tutorial on how I installed them. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna show you how to do one. And that's pretty much it. And I absolutely love and adore this style. It's so, Y'all, when I say I'm not playing about the moisture, I'm not playing when it comes to the moisture. My S-Curl, I usually get bottles like this. I got two 32 ounces that I use every other day. I moist, it's the winter. Um, I'm not playing, I'm not playing y'all. Y'all know, know how I feel about my S-Curl. Not playing this time around, not with no yarn in my hair. So, also in the bottle I fill it halfway and the other half I'm using what my mom has been using for years since I was a kid which is the um, Infusium 23 leave-in conditioner because of the pro vitamin leave-in treatment has panthenol and you know um, protein vitamins in there silk amino acids whatever you want to call it um, so this is it um, half infusium half S curl in this bottle and I go to town. I go ham on these braids every two days and I do oil my scalp um, with my oil mixture. And that's about it. So let me know what you ladies think and stay tuned for the vid. I'm also gonna post some pictures, give you another close up. Again, this is the part. I usually wear it on the side, but you can definitely wear it. Um, down the middle you know you can pull it back no um you can wear um, hopefully when i move i'll have more time to do videos and everything but i just wanted to show you ladies the beauty and versatility of crochet braids so um that's about it and just stay tuned for the mini suit questions you know what to do and y'all this google plus thing if you're not subscribed to Google Plus, I really can't reply to your comments. That's all I can really say. So um, I try to inbox those who don't have it to answer your questions. Um, I do see them though. So please subscribe to Google Plus if you're not so I can reply to your comments. Thank you ladies and you stay blessed. Peace.